Good morning, Gary Saddlemeyer, KBB's Morning News. The celebration continues uh, really all week for uh, the grand opening of the magnificent Buffett Cancer Center at uh, Nebraska Medicine. And, um, and we'll be down there, by the way, Saturday morning. Saturday is the uh, when you can go, the public uh, unveiling, if you will, and do a tour. Uh, Trenton and Jeff will be there live. 9 to 11, uh, we'll be lurking around, and, and Scott Voorhees is going to go live, too, at 11, part of the celebration. And we're joined for a few minutes this morning by Dr. Julie Vos, Chief of Hematology and Oncology at UNMC Nebraska Medicine. And I'm sure, Dr. Vos, you're as excited as probably more than most of us about the opening of this facility, right? Yes, it's such an exciting event. We've actually been working on this uh, building and on the programs for uh, probably about six or seven years now. So it's a culmination of a lot of work of a lot of people, and it's it's just turned out even better than I could have imagined. Two-part question. I know you're involved in a clinical trial um, called CAR T-cell therapy, which is uh, really uh, shows promise as as a breakthrough in the fight against uh, some forms of cancer. Number one, um, does this facility enhance uh, these kinds of studies? Uh, not, but, but let's start with what exactly, just briefly, that, that therapy involves. Right. So a lot of patients with cancer, their immune system just doesn't work properly, and that um, doesn't help us in the fight against cancer. So this type of therapy actually takes the patient's own T cells, which are uh, cells in the blood that, that in normal people help us to fight cancer. So we take the patient's own T cells outside of their body and sort of re-educate them to be able to fight their own cancer. Wow. In, in the meantime, the patient's receiving some chemotherapy to deplete their uh, poor immune system and to allow space for the new immune cells, T cells, to come in. And then after the chemotherapy is finished, they get these new T cells, which um, kind of set up housekeeping in their body and help to fight the new cancer. Currently, uh, this is a clinical trial for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, certain subtypes of that. And um, also, there are some trials for acute lymphoblastic leukemia. But potentially in the future, uh, this type of methodology uh, with some modifications may be able to be tested for many different types of cancers. How does an individual, just in, whether it's, it's uh, lymphoma or, or whatever uh, type of cancer, how does a patient uh, get entered into a clinical trial? What's that procedure like? Well, um, the clinical trials are uh, uh, approved by the Food and Drug Administration and the uh, pharmaceutical companies and, of course, the local institution. So they're very um, heavily structured and um, very specific because we want to try to make sure we get all the information that is safe for the patients and that it's efficacious. So um, as far as uh, contacting the, the local center, they can uh, certainly contact us through the web or online for a new patient, and we'd be happy to evaluate them if, if they're potentially eligible for any clinical trial. Okay, and I, I, I trust with the new uh, center, uh, there will be more of this kind of work here in Omaha. Is that true? Yes. This, the new center will allow us much more space to, uh, and beautiful space, by the way, to um, help patients with this or many other clinical trials. Uh, we've been able to hire additional physicians over the last several years and continue to do that into the future that will bring new therapies to our center and to our town. For people listening, Dr. Vos, who have uh, lymphoma or related cancers, what is the landscape like in, in terms of uh, the frontier and the progress in that fight? Well, uh, lymphoma is pretty complicated. There's actually 85 different types of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, wow. and and there's uh, about eight types of Hodgkin's lymphoma. And when you so, say when you say different types, you're talking different kinds of cells, different kinds of cancer cells. Is yeah, that, so that's okay. Yeah, it's a different type of uh, lymphocyte usually that causes these lymphomas, and there's um, that many different types of lymphocytes. Yeah. And then they also get uh, genetic mutations that um, allow this to happen. So the, the therapy for the different types um, and really the diagnosis is very specific. So one has to go to a center that understands all these complexities and um, has new therapies and new clinical trials for their specific subtype of lymphoma in this case or any cancer. Well, thanks for the time this morning. I'd love to meet you Saturday, and uh, uh, this is just an exciting time for Omaha. It really is. Oh, oh, thank you so much, and we appreciate all the community support as well. You bet. Dr. Vos, Dr. Julie Vos, UNMC, Nebraska Medicine, here on News Radio 1110 KFAB, and a morning news.